Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HebrewPod101.com. Hi everyone, Edith here. Welcome to Hebrew Top Words. Today we are going to talk about 10 pickup lines to use at your own risk. Let's start. Hey, Motek. Hey, babe. Hi, Motek. Hey, babe. Ani lo Motek shelcha. I'm not your babe. That's how I would reply. Yeah. Not everybody would reply like that, but... I don't know how often people would say that to somebody they wouldn't know. Um, I guess m somebody's boyfriend could say it, that would be okay. Or like, my mom could say it to me because motek doesn't have to be babe, it can also be like, sweetie. Um, but if like somebody I didn't know say that to me, I would like, yeah, no. Mm -mm. איבדתי את מספר הטלפון שלי. אפשר אולי את שלך? I lost my telephone number. Could you lend me yours? איבדתי את מספר הטלפון שלי. אפשר אולי את שלך? I lost my telephone number. Could you lend me yours? I think if somebody would say that to me, like, as a joke, then I would probably laugh and it will be like a good icebreaker, but if you do it, like, kind of seriously, then... I mean, no, but it is, it is funny, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so cheesy. Okay, the next one is like the super duper Israeli pickup line. So are you ready for this? Abba shelach ganan? Is your father a gardener? Abba shelach ganan? You'll have to edit this out, what you're doing? <laughs> Is your father a gardener? Now I know, I know this is very weird, but the next, like the, the next line that you would say is, if like, is your father a gardener? Because if not, then how did he have such a flower? Like you are the flower, All right? So the full sentence in Hebrew um, would be, Abba shalach ganan, az ech yatsalo kazep, Perach. Don't ever use it. <laughs> this is horrible. This is horrible. I know, right? Yeah. Like you're, you're a flower. So. <laughs> so, you come here often? So, you come here often? Very common. Sometimes people will say it like casually, like, oh, I'm not picking up on you. I'm just, you know, making conversation. No, it's, they're not making conversation. They just, yeah. You are the most beautiful girl I ever saw. You are the most beautiful girl I ever saw. How could that even be possible? I mean, no. נתערב על נשיקה שבסוף את תיפרדי ממני? Should we bet a kiss that you will dump me? נתערב על נשיקה שבסוף את תיפרדי ממני? Shall we bet a kiss that you will dump me? This is, this is very borderline here. I'm... I don't support this one specifically, even though... I mean, it's a little bit funny. But don't use it. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I pass by one more time? Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I pass by one more time? This is extremely corny, but again, I think it's hilarious and it's very cute and funny, so... I guess if somebody uses it, like, as a joke, it's cute. Because it's so corny that it's cute, you know? Yeah. Would you like something? A drink? An appetizer? Me? מתאבן אותי? Would you like something? A drink? An appetizer? Me? Don't put yourself in the same 
you know, in the same level as a drink or an appetizer. It's, it doesn't, no, it's not, it's not, doesn't, it's not a compliment for you. Don't, don't do that, guys. Or girls. אני כבר כאן. מה הן שתי המשאלות האחרות שלך? There, I'm already here. What are your other two wishes? אני כבר כאן. מה הן שתי המשאלות האחרות שלך? There, I'm already here. What are your other two wishes? This is kind of creative, I guess. האם מתתי או שמלאכים ירדו מגן עדן? Am I dead or have the angels fallen from the sky? האם מתתי או שמלאכים ירדו מגן עדן? Am I dead or have the angels fallen from the sky? No comment. Okay, everybody, that's it. You've braved through it. Those were 10 pickup lines to use at your own risk. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any more creative ones. And don't forget to log in to HebrewPod101.com for more Hebrew, more content. Like up this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later. Does having a study partner help you learn a language faster? For most people, having a friend or romantic partner who is a native speaker of their target language dramatically improves their ability to master the language. In this video, we'll talk about some ways to help you build relationships with people. We'll also talk about three reasons having a native speaker partner can improve your language fluency. First, knowing a native speaker helps you better understand the culture. Knowing a native speaker gets you connected with the culture in ways that no lessons or textbooks ever could. Native speakers are better informed about the latest slang expressions and know interesting places to eat and hang out. Having a friend or partner who is a native speaker can dramatically improve your understanding of the language. In addition to language, you can learn about cultural practices, gestures, and relationships. Second, having a native speaker partner increases your exposure to the language. Practice makes perfect is a well-known expression that is certainly true for language learning. When you have a friend, romantic partner, or study buddy, you speak to them through text messages, phone calls, and basic interaction. These are all opportunities for you to practice the language. Making an effort to practice will help your vocabulary quickly expand beyond simple greetings, flirtatious words, and basic comments to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Third, a supportive partner is the best study aid you can find. We all make mistakes, especially when trying to learn a new language. But if you have a supportive partner, they can gently point out your mistakes and help you find better ways to express yourself. And if your native speaker study partner is also your romantic partner, your motivation will likely be even higher than someone who does not have a romantic relationship with a native speaker. Now, let's look at three ways our language learning program helps you learn even faster if you have a native speaker partner. First, all resources and materials are available in English and in your target language. Studying with a partner is special because it's an opportunity for both of you to learn a new language. That's why every single lesson, transcript, vocabulary list, and resource on our website is available in English and in your target language. You can learn from each other. Second, lessons are designed to help you understand and engage with culture. On our website, our focus is to help our students learn practical vocabulary and phrases that are actually used in everyday conversation. This means that from your very first lesson, you can start applying what you learn immediately. So if you want to go out to a restaurant, play games, or attend a social function with your partner, you'll have the vocabulary and phrases necessary to have a great time. Third, access to special resources dedicated to romantic phrases. If your study partner is your romantic partner, we have resources to help you communicate your feelings correctly. Our language learning program has special sections and tools to teach you love words, phrases, and cultural insights. Of course, please remember that simply being in a relationship is no substitute for studying. Communication is key to every relationship, whether romantic or not. If you fail to continue expanding your vocabulary and you stop learning the language on your own, your relationships may suffer or fizzle out. Without question, spending time with native speakers can help you dramatically improve your language proficiency. But this is no replacement for focused studying. It's essential to help facilitate better communication and master the language. 
So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at Hebrew Pod. Hi everybody, Edith here. Uh, welcome back, and today we're going to learn top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. <laughs> also, I want to mention that I will speak as a woman inviting a man out. So all of those phrases will be addressed towards a male. Let's begin. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Yeah, I think like dinner is a more mature kind of a date. I think it's either if you're more far along in your like your relationship, like you maybe you're a bit more mature and you have more money. <laughs> um, but most people maybe will just go out for like a coffee or a beer. Would you like to hang out with me? Would you like to hang out with me? I think this is like a very kind of a a vague obscure kind of a way to ask somebody to do something with you. Like, it's nice to hang out, but, you know, be more specific. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to have frozen yogurt? Do you want to, like, buy a dress? <laughs> do you want to go to the movies? Like, you know, don't be so vague. Ata kol kach You're so cute. Ata kol kach You're so cute. So in Hebrew, when we say the equivalent of cute, which is chamud, it's kind of like friend zoning somebody, as a matter of fact. It's not like, mmm, cute, like he's handsome, like in English. It's just like saying cute to a dog. And there's also a saying a guy would say, call a dog cute, like I'm not cute, I'm a man. So if you're a woman and you're telling a guy he's cute, that's not a compliment. <laughs> you look great. You look great. You know, sometimes like when well, you see your dad, he just comes over and he really looks sharp. It's like, oh, you look great. Yeah. That was a great evening. That was a great evening. Don't say it if you just had like an okay kind of a time. Because the word nehedar in Hebrew, it means actually like, you know, great, like fantastic. And if you really had a fantastic time and you're not trying to like play it cool and you really wanted him to know that you had a good time, um, then, then say that. But if you're trying to be cool, you know, say something maybe a bit more mild. I'll call you. I'll call you. Now guys, especially guys, don't say it if you don't mean it. Just say, it was great seeing you. Okay, bye. That's good enough. I'll drive you home. And yes, I'll drive you home. Not if you had drinks. If you had dinner, you know, a soft drink, then sure, you know, drive him home. Why not? Show him your driving skills. What time shall we meet tomorrow? What time shall we meet tomorrow? Um, again, this is like very useful when you just we, you said tomorrow, but you don't really know exactly when. Is it seven? Is it eight? Is it eight? And then just be more specific and ask him what time. Can I see you again? Can I see you again? Yeah, it's like a very direct thing to ask. I don't think I've ever asked it anybody. And you don't really have to. You just can like, yeah, okay, I'll call you or, you know, or call me. If it's really important to you and, you know, you're not playing any games and you're all being like really straightforward and simple, then you might say, Can I see you again? Shall we go somewhere else? Shall we go somewhere else? You know, if the bar is too loud or, you know, maybe smelly from cigarettes or maybe the restaurant you wanted to go to is there's a bit of a line um, and you're thinking, okay, let's not waste our time and maybe you can find some place that's more comfortable, then you'd ask that, like, 
Okay, so thank you everybody. Today we learned about top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. I hope you have many successful ones. And if you're already in a relationship, you know, just skip the video. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like up this video. And don't forget to check out HebrewPod101.com. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Lay thought. Hi, everyone. Do you know how to say I love you in Hebrew? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Ani ohev otcha. Ani ohev otcha. Ani ohev otcha. Or, if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say, Ani daluk alaych. Ani daluk alaych. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say You just learned three different ways to say, I love you in Hebrew. And if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to download your free romance and love cheat sheet, which includes romantic words, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to hebrewpod101.com now. See you next time. It's been getting ready dance. Hi everyone, welcome to Top Hebrew Words. My name is Yara and today's theme is 15 questions you should know. So, let's start. Me'efo ata, where are you from? Me'efo ata, where are you from? And if you want to ask a female, it's me'efo at. Ani mi Tel Aviv. I am from Tel Aviv. Ben kama ata, how old are you? Ben kama ata, how old are you? For a female, it would be bat kama at. I'm not gonna answer that one. <laughs> Ma shimcha, what's your name? Ma shimcha, what is your name? For a female, Ma shmech. A more common way of asking that would be Ech korim lecha, or for a female, Ech korim lach, which literally means how are you called? Ma shlomcha, how are you? Ma shlomcha, or ma shlomech, for a woman, and this is how are you? How do you feel? Ma ze, what's this? Ma ze, what is this? Ma ze, some people use it uh, as, what, like what did you say? Ma ze? But uh, most of the times it's used uh, when you want to know what a thing is. Excuse me? Ma ze? Ma amarta? What did you say? Ma amarta? What did you say? And for a female, ma amart? Lo amarti klum. I didn't say anything. Efo ata oved? Where do you work? Efo ata oved? Where do you work? And for a female, Efo at Ovedet. Efo Hashirutim, where is the bathroom? Memorize this one. Efo Hashirutim, where is the bathroom? Excuse me. Efo Hashirutim. Efo Ata Gar, where do you live? Efo Ata Gar, where do you live? Or for a female, Efo At Gara. Matai Yom Hahuledet Shelcha. When is your birthday? Matai yom ha'huledet shelcha. When is your birthday? For a female, matai yom ha'huledet shelach. Kama zman atalomed ivrit? How long have you been studying Hebrew? Kama zman atalomed ivrit? How long have you been studying Hebrew? For a female, kama zman at lomedet ivrit? Efo lamadet ivrit? Where did you learn Hebrew? Efo lamadeta ivrit. Where did you study Hebrew? Or for a female, efo lamadet ivrit. 
That's an easy question. HebrewPod101.com היית בישראל? Have you been to Israel? היית בישראל? Have you been to Israel? For a female, היית בישראל? Well, have you? אתה אוהב אוכל ישראלי? Do you like Israeli food? אתה אוהב אוכל ישראלי? Do you like Israeli food? And for a female, את אוהבת אוכל ישראלי? איפה אתה רוצה לבקר? Where do you want to visit? איפה אתה רוצה לבקר? Where do you want to visit? Or for a female, איפה את רוצה לבקר? So this is it. This was 15 questions that you should know in Hebrew. Thank you so much for watching. And have you ever been to Israel? What is your favorite Israeli food? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Yara. Welcome to another episode of Top Hebrew Words. And this episode is especially fun because today we're going to learn 10 phrases you always want to hear. So the first one is Tzedakt. You were right. Tzedakt. You were right. I said it in the female form, Tzedakt. For a male, it would be Tzedakta. You were right. I knew it. I'm always right. Ani mitgagat elaych. I miss you. Ani mitgagat elaych. I miss you. This is a really interesting verb, I think, because it doesn't exist in English. In English, you say, I miss you. Which is, which is really nice, but in Hebrew you have a special verb for this feeling of missing someone or something. Mitgagea. For a male, mitgagat. For a female. So I like this one. Ani mitgagat elaych. At tabachit meula. You're an excellent cook. At tabachit meula. You're an excellent cook. For a male, at tabach meule. At niret nehedar hayom. You look great today. את נראית נהדר היום. You look great today. For a male, אתה נראה נהדר היום. הבאתי לך משהו מיוחד. I brought you something special. הבאתי לך משהו מיוחד. I brought you something special. For a male, הבאתי לך משהו מיוחד. התקציב הוא בלתי מוגבל. The budget is unlimited. התקציב הוא בלתי מוגבל. The budget is unlimited. This goes for all genders. <laughs> Yay! At You are the winner. Yeah, it's always fun to hear. For a female, it would be At HaMenatzachat. You are the winner. Ata HaMenatzach. You are the winner. <laughs> I want to thank my parents and everyone that helped me get here. <laughs> you love me. You really love me. <laughs> יהיה בונוס בסוף החודש. There'll be a bonus at the end of the month. יהיה בונוס בסוף החודש. There'll be a bonus at the end of the month. Yes. עשית עבודה נהדרת. You did a great job. עשית עבודה נהדרת. You did a great job. It's always fun to hear. For a male, it would be עשית עבודה נהדרת. תודה. לא היינו יכולים לעשות את זה בלעדייך. Thanks, we couldn't have done this without you. תודה, לא יכולנו לעשות את זה בלעדייך. Thanks, we couldn't have done this without you. For a male, בלעדיך. These were 10 phrases you always want to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, here's a huge pile of money. Hi everyone, Edith here and today we're going to talk about a wonderful subject which is something that I love. And those are the top 10 compliments you always want to hear. Let's get started. You're handsome. So you can say that to somebody like, not just at a bar, right? Like if your friend got a haircut or he has a new jacket or maybe he lost some weight. So you can say, You look good. You're smart. So again, this is also something that requires a little bit of knowing the person. This is something I always love to hearing. Like when somebody tells me I'm smart, it's like, yeah, I know. Don't say it if you don't mean it, okay? People always mean it when they say it to me. You're an awesome friend. Again, if a friend did something for you that you really appreciate, 
and you're like, you didn't expect them to be so good to you, then you say you're, you're an amazing friend, you're an awesome friend. And this is something I think people need to hear more when they're being good to you. They just need that appreciation, like you're such a good friend. Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside. Now, isn't that a lovely thing to say? Like, yes, you're pretty and you're handsome and, you know, <laughs> perfect, but <laughs> like your inside, is what matters the most because outside beauty goes away and your inside beauty doesn't. And when you tell somebody like, I really appreciate the person that you are, I really appreciate your character, and you're more, even more beautiful on the inside than the outside. And that's just, that's like a double compliment and it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> your resume is impressive. Usually you'll hear that like on a job interview, obviously, like your mom won't <laughs> come over and say like, your resume is impressive. But if you get that on an interview, so that's a really good sign unless they say you seem overqualified for the job which is like okay <laughs> great job that's also like a more of a workspace kind of a compliment that you can get from your boss or like from a co-worker or a colleague or you can say it to a colleague uh, don't say it to your boss it's like yeah great job it's not something you would say in like your personal life, usually. Yes, lechatam tov. You have good taste. So yeah, like if somebody, if I'm trying on a coat and somebody just told me that it looks good on me, then I'll be like, yeah, you have good taste, <laughs> which is a compliment. And also if somebody complimented on something for you and then you say it's a good taste, so it's kind of like a funny thing to say. Like, oh yeah, I'm pretty, I know, you have good taste. <laughs> Your smile is beautiful. So like if we're talking about maybe, you know, hitting on people or on guys or girls, whatever, you know, like this is such a nice thing to say, like you have a beautiful smile. It's just external. You still don't know that person, but it's just a lovely thing to say and it's not offensive and it's just warm and polite and nice. You look gorgeous. So like if somebody really put an effort on their looks, and you know they kind of tried and they worked on it, maybe they're going to like a special event, just give them the credit and tell them that they look gorgeous. Tell them, I love your cooking. Now this is a good thing to say, like, I don't know, in my family, if I say that to my mom, she would be like, oh, yay, thank you. My dad doesn't really cook. You know, when you're with family or with friends and having like a nice dinner party, just compliment the food, you know, it's people put an effort to it. So thank you so much. These were 10 compliments that you always want to hear in Hebrew. Uh, please tell me in the comments below, what's the most beautiful thing anybody ever said to you? It could be somebody you know and you hold dear, and it could be just, you know, just a stranger telling you something really nice. Please let me know. I think it's like a lovely thing to, to hear, and I love hearing your stories. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to smash that button. And yeah, see you, bye. Who gives a dictionary as a present? Seriously, what? Someone that's learning a language. <laughs> that's like the worst. Hello everyone, Edith here. Welcome to Hebrew Top Words. Today we are going to talk about 10 gift ideas you must know in Hebrew. Let's start. Machshev Nayad, laptop. Machshev Nayad, laptop. Hamachshev Nayad me'afsher li la'avod kimat bechol makom. The laptop computer allows me to work almost anywhere. So I think, I don't think, I know. The translation to Machshev um, Nayad to English is more like a portal computer or a mobile computer and not like lap, top. Bosem, perfume. Bosem, perfume. Yesh li bosem shone lechol sug erua. I have a different perfume for every kind of event. Fancy, fancy. Sefer, book. Sefer, book. Ani kore sferim kol yom. I read a book every day. I try to read a book every day. I still think that like a book is a very nice gift and it kind of shows that you really gave thought to the person. If he likes reading books. Mapat olam World map. Mapat olam World map. Ani ohevet lesemen et hamekomot bahem bikarti al gabay mapat olam I like to mark the places I've been to on the world map. That's kind of a cool thing to do actually. Um, I definitely need a world map because 
My boyfriend always makes fun of me that I don't know geography, and actually, it's really shameful. I really should get better at this. Matslema, camera. Matslema, camera. אפשר לצלם בפלאפון, אבל בשביל תמונה איכותית באמת, צריך מצלמה. You can take pictures with a phone, but for a really good photo, you need a camera. Yeah, I guess... I don't, I don't know how true that is, because the cell phone cameras that keep getting better and better, and if you want, like, a camera that will be better than that, you'll have to spend so much money, like... Unless you're a professional photographer, I don't think you really should spend that much money on a camera. Telephone Chacham Smartphone Telephone Chacham Smartphone Hayom lekulam kvar yesh telephone Chacham Today, everyone already has a smartphone. Yeah, I think everybody has a smartphone. Kind of makes things easier and it helps you, you know, get your life together. I'm kind of against having smartphones for really little kids, but that's just me. I might be like old-fashioned, I don't know. Konsulat Mishakim Game console. קונסולת משחקים. Game console. ילדים רבים חולמים לקבל קונסולת משחקים ליום ההולדת. Many kids dream of receiving a game console for their birthday. Yeah, I know my brothers always like, they are raving about game consoles and stuff. I was never really into it and I'm still not. And luckily for me, my boyfriend isn't either. מילון. Dictionary. מילון. Dictionary. יש לי מילון אנגלי צרפתי. I have an English French dictionary. If you would ever give a dictionary as a gift, like, don't even, don't talk to me. Tisa Israel, a flight to Israel. Tisa Israel, a flight to Israel. Examta, באמת קנית לי כרטיס טיסה לישראל? No way, you actually bought me a flight ticket to Israel? That's a cool gift. That's a, depends on the season, um, but generally it's a really cool gift. Shovar le spa. Spa voucher. Shovar le spa. Spa voucher. Kibalti shovar le regel achag. I'm going to the spa today. I got a voucher for the holiday. That's nice. That's a good gift. Spa voucher. Yes. Okay, everybody, that's it. Thank you for joining me today for Hebrew Top Words. Today we talked about 10 gift ideas you must know in Hebrew. We had a great time. Please tell me in the comments below what was the best gift you've ever gotten, what will be the best thing that you want to get. And yeah, don't forget to comment on this video, like it up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check out HebrewPod101.com for more content or Hebrew. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everybody, Edith here, welcome to Hebrew Top Words, and today we are going to talk about 10 most romantic ideas for a date. Let's start! Aruchat Erev Leor Nerot Candlelit Dinner Aruchat Erev Leor Nerot Candlelit Dinner L'date harishon shalanu, yatsanu l'aruchat Erev Leor Nerot On our first date, we went out to a candlelit dinner. It's kind of intense for our first date, no? Lesachek <laughs> bowling. To go bowling. Lesachek bowling. To go bowling. Mitrashek lach ulai lalechet lesachek bowling? Are you in the mood to go bowling? That's kind of a cute date, isn't it? I don't think people do that anymore, though. Like, I don't know of any bowling alleys that exist anymore. Too bad. Lalechet l'aquarium. To go to the aquarium. Lalechet l'aquarium. To go to the aquarium. Be'elat, efshar lalechet l'aquarium hatat yami. In Eilat, you can go to the undersea aquarium. Now that's a really good idea on a date. Like, that's... That's fun. No matter your age, like, your kid, adult, old person, teenager, I mean, an aquarium is pretty fun, in my opinion. Lalechet la opera. To go to the opera. Lalechet la opera. To go to the opera. Zugot rabim nehenim lalechet yachad la opera. Many couples are enjoying going to the opera. I've been to the opera before, and it's definitely not a 
good date idea or just a good idea in general. ללכת לארוחת ערב וסרט. To have dinner and see a movie. ללכת לארוחת ערב וסרט. To go on a dinner and see a movie. הדייט הקלאסי הוא לצאת לארוחת ערב ולראות סרט. The classic date is to go on a dinner and see a movie. Yeah, that's, that's fun. And then after the movie, like you have something to talk about over dinner because you've just watched a movie. לעשות פיקניק. To have a picnic. לעשות פיקניק. To go on a picnic. בימים יפים אפשר לעשות פיקניק בפארק. On nice days you can have picnic at the park. Um, and then ants. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> לקחת הפלגה. To take a ferry ride. לקחת הפלגה. To take a ferry ride. חברה שלי הפתיעה אותי עם הפלגה רומנטית בשקיעה. My girlfriend surprised me with a romantic sunset ferry ride. I don't think there is a place you can do that in Israel. Um, but a lot of places that have like rivers and stuff, yeah, sure. ללכת על החוף. To walk on the beach. ללכת על החוף. To walk on the beach. אולי, במקום לשבת במסעדה, נצא להליכה על החוף. Maybe, instead of sitting in a restaurant, we can go for a walk on the beach. That's a nice idea, isn't it? I really like the beach. I don't like so much going into the water, but walking is great. ללכת למוזיאון. To go to the museum. ללכת למוזיאון. To go to the museum. רוצה ללכת למוזיאון? שמעתי על תערוכה מעניינת. Want to go to the museum? I've heard about an interesting show. Um, to me that's more of like a girlfriend's kind of a thing, but you know, if both people like museums, then why not? It's kind of romantic. לקחת שיעור כדרות. To take a pottery class. לקחת שיעור כדרות. To take a pottery class. בוא ניקח יחד שיעור כדרות. Let's take a pottery class together. I've never done that. I would love to do that, actually. Maybe not on a date. That's kind of, you know, Patrick Swayze on ghost kind of a vibe, but yeah, it sounds fun. <laughs> All right, guys, so these were the 10 most romantic ideas for a date. Let me know in the comments below about maybe some of your dates that you had before and about good dating ideas. And don't forget to check out HebrewPod 101 for more Hebrew, more content, and I'll see you all next time. Shalom! work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.